Good afternoon. Welcome to our new fancy schmancy DNC machine. Today we're going to teach you how to put all the pieces together. So on our DNC card, which this of course is familiar, with a few minor changes, you have your tubing, which this is the standard, the 3 8 and this is your half inch, which currently is on back order, but we will be getting back in stock soon. This is for your more in-depth cases, but your standard DNC, DNC machine will come with the 3 8 tubing that will be open sterilely onto your back table. The doctor will then tell you what size curette that they would like which are all kept in these drawers, also open sterilely. Some of these packages, as you can see, are empty right here, so make sure your nurse gets your package. Up here, you have your canisters, and then you have your um, attachments that will go in the different parts of your canister lids. You also have your filter tubing, and you have your filter canisters, and this is what your specimen will go into and will be passed off as specimen. So all of this stuff is stocked right here. Also, just an FYI, when you do the DNCs, your, um, for if you're having to restock this, you do not need to put wet preps in here as stocking because they do come in our DNC packs. So this right here is all you will need on your DNC cart. So um, help a friend out if you see that these things are empty or you use the last one. All of these supplies are kept in either SPD or outside in the CV court in the cabinet. And it really helps the next person if you restock what is missing. So DNC cart. You know the nurse's point of view on how to put the DNC um, canisters together. So first, uh, you always at least have one canister. If you think there's gonna be a lot of blood loss, you can use two, and then you might have to switch out if you fill up more than two. So these go into these nice compartments right here. And the next you wanna get, you're gonna wanna get two lids. These lids are for the 3 8 tubing. That will go with the tubing that Liz showed that we have in stock, though the half inch is coming soon. You're gonna place both of these lids until you hear the click. And the next you have the filter tubing. Um, this will help uh, get the vacuum sealed to create the pressure to suction. So that goes on this silver piece here. And you just cram it on. And then it's gonna connect to the one that has nothing written on it. Next, you're gonna have the um, the patient's specimen filter, and that's gonna go to the part that says patient. Okay, and then we have these little caps that come in the packs. So for here, we're going to, um, you would use this blue one to cover if needed, if you only have the one canister, if you need to, use both canisters, you need the jumper cable, and those will be located down here. And this will connect there, and then it'll go onto this other one, like so. That is not labeled anything. Okay. And then next you will just put a cover here and a cover here to help create that vacuum seal. So this jumper cable will allow any blood overflow to come into this canister. And then you need the vacuum connected to the one that has the patient's um, specimen container connected to it. And then next, we will open up the pack here to show you where this connects to. So this is the end that the vacurettes will connect to. So this will be the sterile end that will stay on the sterile field. And this end is the end 
that will connect to the specimen container here and it just clips in just like so. Um, make sure you ask the um, surgeon uh, if they want it in the specimen in formalin or if they're going to be sending them off for chromosome studies. And that's a whole other process. Um, you'll have to get with Tara Jane to, to have her email you the process for that specimen. Um, and then once everything is on or connected, we will turn it on. Okay, so here's the power button. Uh, the zero as the neutral for off to the straight line turns it on and then you will just compress until the green, until the suction goes into green and otherwise you can turn the knob up or down. Uh, it also has a foot pedal that you can put it on the foot pedal and that is located inside. It's connected here. And then you put the foot pedal out and the surgeon can control it using the foot pedal. The specimen filter comes in a pack like this with your blue caps. Um, make sure that you push the caps down really well because it will pop off with the, uh, the vacuum uh, pressure. Uh, if the specimen is going for fresh, obviously with goggles and gloves on, you would take this off and then you can pull the specimen out here and you would put a cover on the bottom and a cover on the top and you could send the specimen for fresh if they're doing chromosome studies. So that's that. Uh, as far as um, positioning goes, um, you would want to pull this up either on the patient's right or the patient's left, either side, but it just needs to be close enough because the tubing is only so long. 